For the following exercises, determine whether each function is increasing or decreasing. All right. So basically what I, what I need to uh, first kind of understand is what is the general nature of this function, right? Meaning, is it a linear function? Is it a quadratic? What is it? Well, it looks most closely uh, to a linear function, right? How did I know that? Well, first thing is I look at this and I just call it y j of x, k of x, f of x, whatever letter you want, alpha of x, whatever you want to call it. Just write it as y, okay? So y is equal to 1 half x minus 3. And now all of a sudden, something that might not look too familiar looks familiar. And notice how this correlates beautifully with the general, I don't know where the b came from, mx plus b, the b's over there. Uh, notice how beautifully, right, this formula matches with this one. So what's important here is understanding that you have a linear equation and knowing whether a linear equation is increasing or decreasing is simply as easy as understanding the sign of the slope. Meaning if I understand what the sign of this coefficient is here, the slope value, one half, I can figure out whether it's increasing or decreasing. And I have down here the rules, right? Positive means increasing and negative means decreasing. So this slope value is positive and therefore I can call it increasing. Voila. Last one. Here we go. What am I going to do? Just call this y and you might ever say, well, I don't even need to do that. I see it already, Andrew. And that's great, right? If you notice, this is y, this is m, this is x, and this is your b. So what's the slope? One fourth. Is it positive or negative? It's positive. And what can we call it? We can say that the graph is increasing or the function is increasing. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.